It's the story of a real-life Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, a respected physician by day, something much, much worse by night, eventually earning him the nickname Dr. Satan. In 1933, Dr. Marcel Petio moves to Paris, where he practiced medicine for nearly 10 years. In the midst of the German occupation during World War II, Petio is considered a hero for operating a secret escape route for Jewish people attempting to leave Paris. Only that's not what he was doing. In March of 1944, Petio's neighbors notice a terrible smell and a thick, noxious smoke billowing from his chimney. Police arrive to investigate and find at least 10 corpses. Savagely dismembered, strewn across the house. Some body parts in suitcases, some in an incinerator. Petio arrives claiming that he's a member of the resistance and the corpses belong to traitors and Germans. But an investigation reveals who Petio's victims really were and how he killed them. Marcel Petio claiming to help people escape Promising them safe passage and medical assistance, he gave his hopeful patients injections. After poisoning his victims, he stole all of their belongings and butchered them before placing them in his basement furnace, making off with more than 200,000 francs. Petio was arrested and charged with 27 murders. His despicable scheme earns him the moniker Dr. Satan. In May of 1946, Dr. Satan is beheaded at the guillotine. His last words, gentlemen, I ask you not to look. This will not be very pretty. And it wasn't. <laughs>